Okay. Now we are going to make a mixture with the yellow sand and the grape nuts. 50 50. So I need to get to the yellow sand. Measure out a quantity. Oh, what did I do with the measuring cup? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we take some sand. We want three parts of sand. Yeah, that's about right. A few parts of sand and three parts of grape nuts. Just to put the grape nuts in here, it'll be a little easier to lay out. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Exactly where we need to be. Exactly where we need to be. So now, I'm not going to convince this out. So we have the 50 50 grape nuts, yellow sand. Dump that in there. Mix it up real well. Take our one and one gray Portland white line, hydrated line. Stick it in there. I think it's Sailor's hydrated line. Anyways, oh yeah, this is going to be more interesting than the other one, but this is again. Coarse grain mortar mixture. Hmm. Yeah. Oops. And keep it in the bucket. Okay. And not milk, but water. Aqua. Aqua. Bread container. Okay. feel much more optimistic about the 50-50 sand grape nuts mixture than the 100% grape nuts mixture. Don't you? Yes. Yes. This is, this is nice stuff. This is really good stuff. I was going to say something else, but I'll say stuff. Okay. We don't need any of that esoteric Mason's language here. We're just keeping this as a simple educational program. Okay. Flatten this out. Mm-hmm. I want to do some glass fiber reinforced concrete with this uh, with grape nuts now. Okay. I, I like that. That is nice. That is nice. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is cool too. Ah, smells interesting. It smells chewy. Could make brownies. Anyways, uh, let's see. Then there's one last experiment that I want to try. And it's going to require, again, a 50-50 mix. I'm going to go with the 50-50 mix of the sand and the grape nuts. Okay, and we put that into our mixing container. And then I need a little bit of lime. Yep, lime. in there. Line. And gray Portland. Note that we're saying gray Portland, not white Portland, not non-staining Portland. This is a type 1 gray Portland that we're using. 
I know some specifications can be more exacting than this, but this is really for trial experimentation only. I do not anticipate that we will have staining problems with our um, mortar mixture, but then again, we could use some D2 on it. Mix that. Add that to our mixing tub. Mix everything dry. Now we have 50-50 sand, grape nuts, and we have uh, lime, hydrated lime, and grape Portland cement. Get a little mixing container ready. Now our next ingredient is one that I've often been curious about using in mortar. Um, I've never done it before, so this is going to be an experiment and uh, un uncharted territory. We will see how it works and how the mortar lasts. But essentially instead of using water or milk, we're going to use gasoline. Trust me. Mmm, yeah. Should have thought better of this. Okay. Hmm. May need more gasoline than we would need water. Just to make this workable. Let's see how workable a mortar is when it's got gasoline. It's lubricant. Hmm. Stinky. Don't say that much for it. Stink. Jesus. Excuse me. This winter we'll see if this works as a fire starter in the stove. Okay, and we take our little cake pan and we dump in our mixture. Bugs. Okay. Grape nuts, yellow sand, hydrated lime, gray Portland, and gasoline with 10% ethanol. You got it. 10% ethanol. This is a natural product. Okay. All natural grape nuts. 33 grams of whole grain per serving. Oh, it's interesting the way the gasoline comes to the surface. Okay. Hopefully nobody will light this. And there we have it. Our test sample of sand with lime and grape Portland. Grape nuts with lime and grape Portland. 100% grape nuts. White marble dust with gray Portland and lime. The um, really nice brownstone composite patch material and the brownstone composite patch material mixed 50% with grape nuts and uh, sand grape nuts 50-50 with lime and gray Portland and the Sand, grape nuts 50 50 with grape Portland and lime and gasoline. That is our demonstration. Thank you very much. See you next time. Fire treated mortar.